Spot, the longest serving district attorney in, New or in Orleans Parish and founder of Orpheus has died. The family of Harry Connick Sr., the father of a world famous entertainer, Harry Connick Jr., says that he died of natural causes. WDSU anchor Travers Mackle takes a look back at the legacy he leaves behind. I don't know of a downside to this program. Harry Connick Sr., the DA. While the world knows his son by name, a world famous musician and entertainer who shares his father's name, people here in the city of New Orleans know Harry Connick as a man who oversaw hundreds of criminal cases for the better part of 30 years. First elected back in 1973 as DA, Connick defeated incumbent district attorney Jim Garrison. He took over an office and a city during a changing time. Connick led prosecutions on murder cases, drug crimes, and sexual assaults. While his conviction rate was high, the tactics used by many of his prosecutors during the 1970s and 80s have been questioned. Dozens of cases overturned for what was later discovered to be prosecutorial misconduct. Connick was also charged with a crime while in office. It was related to a racketeering probe and allegations that Connick had returned records to a bookmaker who was under investigation. He was cleared at trial of all wrongdoing and remained in office for over a decade. In 1987, he ran unsuccessfully for attorney general. Harry Connick Sr. was very involved in the community, setting up programs that still exist today to try and help people arrested for crimes with substance abuse issues and re-entry problems. I'll do the cooking, baby. I'll pay the rent. Like his son, Connick is also a musician. For fun, he performed at local clubs while he served as the city's top prosecutor. In 1993, Harry Connick Jr. and his father, then still district attorney, started the crew of Orpheus. It turned into a super crew and a Monday night carnival season fixture. But his lasting impression as a law and order district attorney, a man that groomed hundreds of lawyers who have gone on to be prosecutors, defense lawyers, and judges. Connick retired back in 2003 and has lived quietly out of the public eye at his uptown home, enjoying family and a career that impacted so many in the city that he loved. And District Attorney Jason Williams offered his condolences to the family, uh, saying that Mr. Connick is the longest tenured DA. Such a long-standing public servant gives an enormous amount of themselves to the to their community, as do their families. And his nephew, State Senator Patrick Connick, sent us this statement tonight, saying, "Quote: Uncle Harry had a wonderful life. He was a great example about how to do the right things, both in life and in politics. We loved him dearly. He will be missed." End quote.